The Earth, our spaceship. Welcome aboard for our one-year cruise around the sun. Yes, we do revolve around the sun, but not on a circle, on an ellipse. And it's now, during the first days of January, that we're closest to the sun. So why is the weather so cold? In fact, the difference between near the sun and far from the sun is insignificant. There's a much more important reason. The Earth doesn't spin straight, but slightly askew. The axis isn't vertical, it's tilted on its orbit. So when the northern hemisphere tips into shadow, the nights are long, the days are short. But more importantly, because the Earth is tilted, the sun's rays reach us at different angles. In the tropics, a ray of sunlight hits the ground vertically. It's hot. But the same ray in the northern hemisphere arrives at an angle. Its energy is spread over a surface three times greater, providing three times less heat. We're cold. In the north, it's winter. In the south, it's summer. The tilt of the Earth's axis gives us the seasons. At this very moment, you're hurtling through space at 107,000 kilometers an hour. That's 30 kilometers every second. The Earth takes a year to go around the Sun. And along with the Earth, eight other planets circle the Sun, each on its own orbit. On the orbit just next to ours is our neighbor, Venus. Venus travels faster than the Earth, overtaking us. It's the brightest planet, the one we see best. Sometimes in the evening, sometimes in the morning. Why in the morning? We see Venus to the right of the Sun. Seen from the Earth, this is what happens in the morning. We are looking at the part of the sky where Venus is. It appears on the horizon well before the Sun, while it's still dark and the Sun is still below the horizon to the left. That's why, in this position, we see Venus in the morning, at dawn. As the Earth continues to turn, we see the Sun. It lights up the sky until we can't see the stars or planets anymore. So we continue our voyage on board our planet Earth. On the next orbit to the left, the Earth has a faster moving neighbor, traveling at 125,000 kilometers per hour and overtaking us. This is Venus. We call it the morning star, but it's not a star, it's a planet. What's the difference between a planet and a star? They look the same, but the stars shine like our sun. The planets don't shine, they reflect the sun's light. They're part of our solar system and are near to us. The stars are very far away. We can't reach them. This is Sirius, next to Orion, one of the closest stars. Even such a close star is out of our reach. If our spaceship Earth left its orbit and headed out of the solar system towards Sirius at its normal cruising speed, we'd take 80,000 years to get there. While at the same pace, we'd reach Venus in just 16 days. 80,000 years for Sirius, 16 days for Venus. That's the difference between the far-off universe of stars and our solar system with its nearby planets. <laughs>